can meet before you leave. There's still plenty of time. No one else need know anything about it. Or what do you say? Well, will save a lot of bother. All right. But where? There's a clearing. It's not far from our house, by the old quarry. One of the gardeners will tell you the way if you can't find it. I'll meet you there in an hour. And if there's time, I might even be able to take you for a walk. That would be lovely. Father. I should have thought to find my daughter here. I heard a young girl's voice. I'm sorry, sir. This is Allegra Turner. Allegra, my father. How do you do? Miss Turner, if you're looking for my daughter, I believe she's still in her room. I'd like a word with you, if you please. I really have nothing to say, You must sir. let me be the judge of that. I understand you're leaving. I'd be glad of a few words. Of course, sir. Miss Craddock, no doubt, will look after the child in our absence. I must be going. Must you? Wouldn't you like me to see you home? No. I'll see you later at the quarry. Goodbye. Would you kindly step in here, sir? Shut up, will you, and get dressed quickly. Come on, Sean. Hurry up. You don't have to. Just get dressed. It might be absolutely nothing at all. Just a storm in a teacup. Or it might not be. Uh, get a move on, will you? But what does all this have to do with Ali and the alleged Louisa? We're not sure. That's what we're going to find out. But that Louisa lived a hundred years ago. Yes. But I thought you didn't believe in that sort of thing. I don't, but we know that Ali's missing and we want to find her. Call it caution, if you like. You mean it's better safe than sorry? Have you seen Louisa? Louisa? Uh, no. But she went out looking for you. Didn't you see her? I was with my father, evidently not. Oh, I'm sorry, Craddy. Um, I'm sure she'll be around somewhere, probably hiding from her lessons. Captain Anthony, is it true that you're going to be leaving us again? Yes, very soon. Are you going to be going back to your regiment? Hardly, Craddy, no. I'm not sure when I'll be back again. But you'll look after Louisa for me, won't you? It's such a pity that you have to go. Your family will be so disappointed. But they already are, Craddy, and have been for quite some time. Now I think it's better for everyone if I leave. But where will you go? Oh, London, my club. Now, don't worry about me, Craddy. I'm no longer your wee charge. I'll be all right. But I'll be sorry to leave you all again. It'd be nice to be able to see Louisa again sometime, if you can get up to London. I'll try. It'll be good to see you, too. But I suppose you'll have to find Louisa first. Hmm? Yes, you'll be wanting to say goodbye. Oh, no, there's no rush. There's something I must do first. I shan't be leaving till later. I can say goodbye to her then. Oh, 
Hurry up, Fran. Be quiet. Can't you write faster? Um. Fran, come on. Don't say there's nobody here again. Doesn't look like it. No, typical. Perhaps Sean will find someone around by the stables. Oh. Ah. Can I help you? We're looking for our daughter, Ali, with the family from the cottage. Ali? That'll be that polite young girl with the eyes. Yes, yes. have you seen her? her? I don't meet many young people nowadays. She's not difficult to recall. Thank you very much. Well, she's missing. Do you mind if we have a quick look round for her? Missing, do you say? Yes. It is very important. Oh, come on, let's split up. You take downstairs, I'll go upstairs. Uh, I'll give you a hand. Never mind. Thank you. Vicar? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Just trying to think of a subject for Sunday's sermon. Uh, now, you're one of the Burr flock, aren't you? Well, what can I do for you? Have you seen a girl about outside? No, it's as quiet as a proverbial graveyard. Who are you looking for? Do you know anything about a Hallam? A Louisa Hallam? The Hallams? Still tracing them, are you? I must say I admire your persistence. Rather like Daniel and his lions. But do you? No, I'm afraid not. I, I really don't know any more than I've already told you. Then the quarry. Do you know where that is? Oh, now, there I can help. It's quite nearby. But where is it? How do I get there? It's about a mile away. Look, if you go out of the church and round the side, through the graveyard, you'll find a little wooden gate. Now, if you go through Thank the Thank you very much. Stony ground. <laughs> Stony ground. <laughs> Stony ground. Allegra? I wonder if Ali's seen this. I don't know. What, I don't like any of this. Please, let's find her.
much. What? Hallie's been seen. Where? At the church. She spoke to the vicar, asking about the quarry. The, the quarry? Where is that? What does a quarry look like? That. Uh, there it is. Where? Uh, near that clearing, about a mile from here. Have you got that, Rod? Yes, of course. Come on, we'll get the car. Please hurry. Yep. Allegra? Keeping them. Oh, um, the gate's still locked. What? Give me the key. What are you doing here? You seem surprised. Anthony's going to be late. He asked me to meet you and tell you. Then I'd better not stay. I'll go home. Nonsense. He shan't be long. And he'd be ever so hurt if you didn't wait. Wouldn't he? Wouldn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Anthony wants to take us for a walk. He promised. He said we were to meet him by the old quarry. I'm not sure. Don't be such a rabbit, Allegra. You've plenty of time, and you'll be leaving soon. Yes. So will Anthony. So come along. Isn't it lovely here? It is. They say it's so much nicer by the quarry. Shall we? Miss Craddock would say that was gravity, but I think it's just fate. Don't you? Closer, Allegra. Come and look. Don't be such a goose, Allegra. I said it was perfectly all right. Come and look. I think I'd better go now. Allegra, I look for you, but... Louisa, what are you doing here? Anthony! Allegra, no!
tried to save her. You couldn't. You couldn't have done anything. Why? Because it all happened in the past. Over a hundred years ago, and you, you can't change what's in the past. And why did I see it? Someone was trying to tell you something. Ali, come upstairs. Allegra. She could be your double. She's the image of you. And Fran's family comes from around here. What shall I do? Could be related to her. Certainly seem to have developed a kind of sixth sense about her and her life. It's as if you were drawn to her, sensed her danger. Perhaps you had to see everything that happened at the quarry. Why? I still don't understand why. I don't know. To learn the truth? From Louisa? Louisa Hallam. Yes. We discovered something when we were looking through the files. Look at the signature. Hallam. Anthony Hallam. Louise's eldest brother. Captain Anthony had been painting Allegra's portrait. This portrait. Perhaps Louisa didn't know this. Perhaps that's why she went to the quarry. She was jealous. Yes. But, Dolly, you've no need to feel guilty. There was a very tragic accident. Allegra may have felt that she was the cause. She's been trying to make her peace. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, but I think you're both barking up the wrong tree entirely. You're simply trying to justify something you can't explain with a whole lot of sentimental nonsense. Now, what are the facts? We found them in a couple of old newspapers in that file. Now, Ali could easily have done the same thing. She wasn't with us. But those cuttings were in the cottage all last night. Besides, you know how many books we've got at home, how much Ali reads. Now, she could easily have picked up some similar story, and then her imagination got to work on it. But I saw it all. You think you did? I know I did. Rog, there are some things that have no logical explanation. Have you seen enough now? Yes, we have. Oh, I think I should close up. You found the little lady, that's the main thing. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Would you like to go home now? In a minute. Yeah, come on. We've got a long drive ahead. I wonder if I have a double. Oh, what a gruesome thought. What's wrong with that? 